So in the past week or so, Edge of Destiny and Cosmos were both verified. Oh, wait, okay, Cosmos actually wasn't verified because not a single person thought to playtest the damn level before saying it off for verification. Anyways, both of these levels have been pretty well received by the majority of the community, so today I'm going to pit the two top 10s against each other in decoration, song choice, the theme of the level, how well that chosen theme was executed, and the gameplay. Comment down below which one is your favorite, and while you're down there, please subscribe as we are very close to 10k subscribers. Without further ado, on with the video. Okay, so I'm basically going to give my thoughts on both levels in each category and then compare them, and whichever one is better gets a point. And then obviously whichever level has more points in the end wins. Okay, so starting off with decoration, Edge of Destiny is very well detailed. It has elaborate block designs that are unique and pop out, but it's not over-decorated. Also, quick side note, I don't understand how anyone in their right mind could say this is a generic glow level. Seriously, you're telling me this looks generic to you and that this looks generic as well. Like, the whole level with the possible exception of this first part and this one other part on screen has space backgrounds and space-themed block designs and you want to call this generic glow? I mean, of course, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but don't just stand there in my comment section, you can get paid for saying that. But yeah, I also disagree with the idea that call it care the level, given that the other parts he didn't build in are also really good in my opinion. And while Kallak's part is my favorite part, it's not the only good part of the level. So I think that argument's dumb too, but honestly I could understand where it's coming from. Cosmos also has really amazing decoration. The space backgrounds are on average more prevalent in the level, and the pulses are much more prevalent as well. But the block design varies in what it's trying to accomplish. It's still very good decoration, but it's built in different styles at times, which can make some of the parts feel disjointed, and I'll touch more on that later. And there is a lot of blank space left in the pre-drop and post-drop, so while they're both very well decorated, I'm going to give the decoration point to Edge of Destiny. Next up, does Edge of Destiny or Cosmos have a better song choice? Since if I were to just compare the two songs in the, of themselves against each other, it would just really come down to my personal music taste, which is completely off the rails at this point. So I'll mostly just focus on how well the song matches the level, in terms of sync and like intensity and stuff like that. Okay, so Edge of Destiny's gameplay matches the intensity of the song, and the decoration does that too, sort of. The more intense parts, like Kullock's part and the part where the drums first come in, are more heavily decorated in a way that stands out, but the pulses don't really sync as well with the song, and aren't emphasized as much, whereas in Cosmos, the decoration and pulses are very synced to the beat, rhythm, and intensity of each part of the song. So I think Cosmos wins in song choice because it matches the song better with the original and the official remix. Also, another quick side note, I do overall like the Cosmos song better, but that's not really factored in here. I still think that Cosmos matches its song better than Edge of Destiny does. So we're at a tie now, one to one. Okay, so this will be the shortest section because I wanted to compare the levels in the actual chosen theme and then the execution of it separately. But honestly, I think both the levels have a really good theme. Cosmos is space themed kind of mostly around black holes and Edge of Destiny is space themed while also being themed around the big blue sword thingy Manix ruined a few years back. Honestly, I really like both themes, so I'll just give both levels a point, just to be nice. I'm glad Space Theme has sort of been becoming more popular over the past few months to a year. I also don't really understand when people say that Space Theme is as overused as something like Hell Theme or just Generic Glow, because one, there I think is a difference between just Generic Glow with a few stars and actual Space Themed decoration. And I think the latter isn't actually used that much. At the very least, from what I've seen, I guess you could make an argument that it's a lot more popular than it used to be, because it is, and maybe you think it's a little bit too overrepresented, but it's nowhere near hell style levels of just overused. Like, that's been a thing for years. Like, C1997 used to rant about how red and black extreme demons were boring. Anyways, when it comes to the execution of that chosen theme, one is much better than the other in my opinion. Edge of Destiny executes its theme perfectly. Every part has at least a decent amount of space theme deco while expanding on the original designs in Blade of Justice not only making it the perfect remake, but also bringing it something new to spice up the level. There is this one part that does somewhat stick out to not having very much space decoration, or really any space decoration, but in my opinion it's a minor footnote in the level, and I don't think it hinders the level in any significant way. However, with Cosmos, it's a bit of a different story in my opinion. Sure, every part is amazing on its own, but the style of the decoration varies from part to part. It very much just goes quickly from your average cherry themed glow design with some space backgrounds, which is good, by the way, all of these parts are pretty well decorated in my opinion, to moon rocks very quickly, and then this part is in a completely different style than the previous two parts. And yes, I know it's going to get replaced in the new update playtest disaster state that the level is in, but I'm judging it off of its current state. The transitions help make Cosmos less disorienting, and I do think the transitions are well done in general, at least visually speaking, but a lot of the parts lack consistency in style. 
which doesn't hurt the level enough for me to dislike it in any way regarding the decoration, but it is enough for me to say that Edge of Destiny does a better job. So the point goes to EOD, meaning EOD is in the lead 3-2. And finally, gameplay. Since I can't really judge how fun the gameplay actually is to play given Ezra is still kicking my ass in Bloodbath, I'll just look at structuring, pacing, and originality, the last of which cancels out because EOD is unnerfed Blade of Justice gameplay and Cosmos is just Slaughterhouse gameplay, so neither of them really have original gameplay. You could argue that Cosmos is slightly more original, but also Edge of Destiny is unnerfed Blade of Justice. It's meant to restore the legacy of the original, which I think is overall a much wholesome, more wholesome goal than just Slaughterhouse but purple, which was basically what Cosmos originally was, until Cherry Team kind of saved it. So in my opinion, it cancels out. So Edge of Destiny has some pretty great structuring in my opinion. It stays mostly faithful to the original Blade of Justice when you compare them side by side, but it brings a whole bunch of new stuff into the mix as well. And Blade of Justice's structuring to begin with is also pretty good. The pacing the level is pretty good, I think. It has mostly good transitions from what I can tell, and I haven't heard anything about the level being terribly unbalanced. Cosmos does have some decent balancing given that Trick and Cursed have both said that the level is at least semi-fun to play, but the structuring is a nightmare. There are so many objects that completely obstruct your view in this part towards the ground and the ceiling, and the wave spams in the level have invisible stuff everywhere. It's just not well done. Not to mention, for a while, the level had a secret wave from 3 to 100 up until very recently because, again, I guess no one remembered that you playtest a level before verifying it. So in terms of gameplay, I'm going to have to give the point to Edge of Destiny, meaning that the final score is 4-2 and Edge of Destiny wins. Honestly, I like both levels, but I think Edge of Destiny is better in most ways. Again, you can disagree and feel free to comment down below your thoughts on the two levels. More of the story, I guess, playtest your levels. Like the video if you like the video, also please subscribe, 10k is so close it's ridiculous. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.